What's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my City Skylines and modded Let's Play series. As I've mentioned on the last episode, today we are going to expand our city. I think it's time for a population boost. And for that we first need to create a road layout. So I've already selected uh, the location to which we are going to expand our city. We are going to expand it towards the western side. Uh, so yeah, let me just explain to you what I have in mind for today. Okay, so this is the location where we are going to expand our city. We are going to expand it to the left side. And I think we can start by uh, purchasing the tiles that we are going to need. So I think I'm going to buy two tiles right ahead. I'm going to buy this one over here. And I'm also going to buy this one. When we reach a population of 65,000 people, we are going to unlock our last tile. And um, on the last episode, I've um, asked where you'd like that tile to be. And most of you like the idea of finishing this series on the exact same island where we started. So I think I'm going to buy this tile over here to the right side so we can complete this island or at, or at least zone some more housing in there. But for now we are going to focus on this particular location of our city. Eventually, in the long term, I will want to fill this entire area with houses and buildings. But uh, just for the time being, I am not going to make the entire road layout all of a sudden. And the reason for that is that, well, roads have a maintenance cost. And as you can see, my budget um, is not that comfortable. We are on the positive, but we are not making such a big amount of money. So I think for this episode I'm just gonna focus on this area. I'm gonna make a small road layout that I'm highlighting with my mouse. And to the north of this uh, railroad I am going to expand our suburbs. And to the south I am going to expand our high density uh, residential. So yeah, I think that's, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, I also wanna try uh, something new on this layout. I've been reading a few City Skylines guides and for this new road layout I will want to apply the principles of road hierarchy, which I believe will be pretty effective in um, dissipating traffic. I will explain to you those principles after I build the entire thing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I am going to run into time lapse and I'm going to first and foremost delete all of these trees that are um, obstructing my view and I'm going to build the layout and after the end of it I am going to explain to you how the entire thing works. So enjoy the time lapse guys and I'll see you in a second.
All right, guys, here's a bird's eye view of the work that I've been doing. And um, yeah, I think it fits really well with the rest of the city, even though it has uh, quite a few modifications. But uh, for now, let's just zoom in so I can tell you a bit about this new layout. Before I started building this, I said that I was going to apply the principles of road hierarchy, and that's exactly what I've done. So there's pretty much three types of road that you can build your city upon. You got the arterials, the collector roads, and the local roads. The arterials are the roads that connect directly to your highway, and they are basically the main conductors of traffic in between neighborhoods. So in this particular neighborhood, I have used uh, avenues to uh, represent my arterials, which are this one over here, this one that was already built in. Then we have this one, this one over here, and also another one over here, and finally another one that goes across the layout. And because arterials are designed to have a huge amount of traffic flowing through them, um, you should have as little intersections as possible uh, in order to avoid traffic congestion. So if you take this uh, avenue, for example, you will see one intersection over here and another one over here another one over there and another one uh, over here, for example. So we have very little intersections in a large uh, segment of road. And if you check all the others, you can find pretty much the same thing. After the arterials, you got the collector roads, which have the basic function of sending people from the arterials to their houses or to get people from their houses to uh, the avenues to get them to other parts of the city. So in this layout, I have used roads with bicycle lanes to represent our collector roads. So you can see them pretty much um, as the roads that have no trees in them. So you got this one over here, another one over here, another one over here, another one over there, and uh, like so to the rest of the layout. And basically collector roads are the only roads that can intersect with the avenue. So if you check every single intersection in my uh, road layout, you will see that only roads without any trees, which are the collector roads, uh, are intersecting with the um, arterials. And finally, the densest and most frequent type of road will be the local road. The local roads are basically the places where your citizens will live, so all residential will be zoned in there. And in this particular layout, I have used roads with trees. Uh, you can see they have this uh, white outline all around them. And this is pretty much the place where I'm going to zone all my residential. Local roads only intersect with collector roads and can never intersect with avenues to avoid too many intersections. The way I'm going to do the zoning on this layout is pretty simple. I have already said that the residential will go on local roads and also on collector roads. And because uh, the arterials or the avenues uh, are going to have a huge amount of traffic, I am going to place some commercial alongside them. And I might even do a small segments of uh, offices in between residential and commercial to dissipate some um, noise pollution. But that's, that's, um, that's optional. We'll see how it goes and how the demand fluctuates. Because in this design people will have to use the arterials to go from one part of the city to the other because these are the segments of road that have the higher coverage and combining that with the fact that the arterials have very little intersections uh, on them as I've mentioned, this design supposedly, in theory, will have very little traffic problems. But we'll have to pretty much wait and see. The place where I have got this idea was pretty much in a guide on the Steam Workshop um, that I will pretty much link in the description in case you want to take a look at it. In fact, I highly recommend that you go take a look at it because they have very significant tips to avoid traffic issues and I think that's a guide every City Skylines player should read. So yeah, check it out. Not only is it an amazing guide, it also explains um, these principles in much more depth and much more clearly than what I've explained. Finally, to wrap up this long explanation, I just want to point out that I have added some pedestrian pathways just to make it easier for people to travel from uh, one block to the other without using the road, so I can even uh, show you guys. So this is the pathway that I have used. This is a pathway that I have come out with the Parklife DLC. 
this is uh, i think it's the the city park uh, pathway uh, let me just confirm that in a second yes it is it's the park path and um yeah i have uh, taken advantage of this opportunity to make an interesting uh, layout i have used a pretty long pathway to um block zoning on this part of uh, the residential neighborhood on the local road so that i have this uh, reserve spot for commercial and i've also made a few bridges over here and also another one over there to provide transportation to this part of the layout and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and i think it turned out very complete and uh, oh i even i just noticed that i still need to connect this maybe we can do that right now And yeah, there we go. I think it looks much better. And we have also added a few more coverage. Okay guys, but I think that's it for the explanation. I think it's time for us to start building some stuff on our new layout and see how well it deals with traffic. So I have already added another uh, power plant and also another water pumping station just to prevent that from becoming an issue on a later stage as we zone some more buildings. I've also laid down some pipes on this area, so I think we're going to start building um, on this particular area. I think this is a good area to start on. And yeah, let's just uh, start and placing some stuff over here because we are on the red zone and we need some more people to raise the tax income. So because we have a few demand for commercial, that's what I'm going to start zoning right off the bat. I think I'm going to make some commercial over here. I think that's pretty cool and I think I'm gonna zone a few houses over here as well and maybe I can zone a few more houses uh, not houses but commercial all the way over there okay these buildings are developing quite nice but I think I want to add a buffer of um, offices to dissipate noise pollution between commercial and also residential and I want to do the same over here I'll have to demolish some houses I have already built and I am gonna zone some offices over there pretty cool and I think I'm gonna expand this layout even more and I think we can should we do this is this too much Let's just go until halfway with commercial and also just another block of um, residential and I'm gonna zone it up until here and this will be offices. Oh and look at this guys, people are already using our newly built pathway which is amazing to see, look at all this movement and yeah people really love these pathways and i really like uh, the decision that i've made of putting a pathway in between this road and also the avenue so that uh, these buildings or the back side of these buildings are faced towards uh, the pathway so i really like this effect and i think it looks uh, really good but uh, i've also noticed a few boo-boo that i've made which is this thing over here this is not the right type of pathway and we should use this one yeah pretty cool and i also don't like how steep this uh, road is not road this pathway so perhaps we can uh, fix that in the future but for now we'll keep it as that and uh, yeah look at that our newly built uh, district and we still have some more demand for commercial so i think i'm gonna satisfy the demand by zoning a few uh, more stores over here a few more shops and I think I'm, I can also put a few more offices over there as a buffer because all of this will be residential let's just uh, keep zoning some more stuff so I think I'm gonna place a few more offices over here and we can continue expanding our commercial because we have a lot of demand for it Okay, so we have a few new buildings and I think it's time for us to start thinking about services before we expand further. And the most obvious one is transportation. So I've been taking a look at our 
um, transportation network and I think we have no other option but to add another uh, in metro line. Um, well, so the monorail finishes pretty much over here, the circular one. And I, I'm planning on adding another train station, but it will be uh, on the other edge of the map. Uh, because trains are useful for a long tr transportation and not shorter one. So I think we'll need to add another metro system to cover this area over here. And, and I've already been thinking and I think I'm going to make a circular line that will pretty much go through the suburbs, uh, wraps at around here, at around this location, and then comes over here uh, towards this new avenue that we have just built, and uh, which is also the place where we have zoned all these buildings. And we'll wrap around over here and pretty much use this uh, already existing segment of Metro. And of course, in the long term, I am also going to use this metro line that I have over here and I'm going to expand it uh, throughout the coastline. But for now, I think I just want to move on and build the uh, circular um, metro station, not metro station, sorry, the metro network. And I think I'm going to put one station uh, right about over here, maybe right in the middle if I can do it and another one over here and I think it has a nice spread coverage and I'm gonna put and replicate this design on the other side so I'm gonna put it right about over here and another one over here on this arterial and that's pretty much it now I'm just have to connect them and of course I will continue this circle on the future stage to also cover this area but for now I'm just gonna connect those uh, right about over here uh, but this is kind of a um, awkward angle so I'm gonna do it over here instead connect this over here over here as well and let's do a um, smooth curve just to connect these two together and okay let's just connect this at about over here now we just have to continue and connect to this segment over here so let's just uh, do that and i don't think i want to connect it uh, at a straight angle so i'm just gonna come all the way over here and connect it like this okay this is going to be more challenging because i cannot connect it uh, directly to the station so Perhaps we can do an interesting shape, who knows, maybe something like this. And now we can just curve uh, everything, just to make it a bit more uh, smooth. One curve over here, another one over here, and another one over there. Pretty cool, delete everything, and that's it. That's our new metro line, and now we'll just have to make uh, a couple of lines one that will go counterclockwise and stop over here and perhaps connect to this station as well and this one over here as well and wrap it around and another line that will go um, clockwise and we'll come over here pretty cool and wh why is there no stop over here we need to fix it but let's just finish up this line and now we need to make a stop over here and I think everything is correct now I don't know if um, there's going to be a um, train jam so to say because we now have four lines on this segment of metro but we'll just have to wait and see for now let's just uh, resume the simulation and oh wait a second I need to turn this off for the time being because we don't have any buildings over here, so there's no need to spend money on this. Okay, cool. We now have a functional metro system and I've I've also been seeing some buildings upgrading, which is great. It means that we are raising the land value. And now that we have done that, I'm going to use uh, my usual technique of adding bus lines to transport people from uh, the residential homes or from their houses to the metro station. So. I am going to do a small line starting over here, 
let's just make a stop at the end of this collector road and finally connecting to the metro perhaps we can even wrap around and make a stop uh, over here and then we can turn back and pretty much go all the way until here I will add more stops later on when I place some more buildings over here, but for now this is going to be enough. Now let's just wrap around and pretty much come back by placing a stop over here and another one over here. Okay, cool. Now we should make another line that goes on the opposite direction, so I think I'm gonna start over here and make a stop over here. Grab people from this neighborhood from here as well. Now I think we can wrap around and connect directly over here. And finally we can come back and connect to this location. And then we all will do another bus line that will connect to this metro station instead of this one. And I think we can, before I forget, I think I'm gonna place some more uh, stops over here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I like it. And look at it, we are evolving very well, uh, a lot of buildings are upgrading and I think when we place the rest of the services such as schools, parks and all of that, we will have no problem in getting this area to level 5 just as we have this entire area over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and also I am going to need a second university that I will place uh, somewhere around here that will also raise the land value of this entire location. And our budget also seems to be fine, but uh, I will leave those services for the next episode. For now, I think I wanna go with mass zoning, so I think I am gonna finish up the rest of the layout. I am going to zone the rest of the office spaces that we need over here. Okay, pretty cool, and I think I will also want to zone some residential over here and also start the zoning of residential over here as well. Because we have quite a lot of demand for commercial and industrial, I decided to come back to our leisure island and progress a little bit on this. So I want to come to the district tabs and I want to expand the Simuka's IT Square Center. Okay, perfect. And now with all of that zoned in, I am going to mass zone some offices. Okay, pretty cool. And now I also want to do the same to our commercial. And I'm going to lower the commercial demand by expanding the uh, leisure and also tourism districts. And this will give no other choice to the game but to uh, force the residential demand to go up. Yeah, so satisfying. Look at the amount of people using the metro. It is really cool to see. And here comes another big wave. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, and also before I forget, for the sake of access, I think I'm going to make another uh, pathway access over here. Uh, just to provide a way for people to get from over here to the metro station and I need to do the same over here and also on the already built part of the city which is over here and also over here oh and I messed up wait a second and yeah there we go alright guys but that's gonna be it for today I am really proud with the progress that we have been able to make in just one episode for the next episode we are going to continue the zoning of this new layout and I also want to start focusing a bit more on services such as parks, education, fire, police and, and all of that stuff I hope you have enjoyed this video if so please consider giving it a like it will help start my channel also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the development of this city. If you have any suggestions for things that I should build in the future, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to connect with me online, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, have fun!